Hi, I'm Alex with the Lexus Eastern Area, and today I'm here with the all-new Lexus First Battery Electric Vehicle, the RZ450E. Now, this vehicle comes just about one year after Toyota launched their first battery electric vehicle, the BZ4X. What we're going to find on this RZ is that instead of having one electric motor like that BZ4X, there's actually two. There's both a front and a rear electric motor in this vehicle, which is going to give us about 312 horsepower and a 0-60 to 60 time of about 5 seconds. When we're talking battery, this vehicle comes equipped with a lithium-ion battery that's going to have about 71.4 kilowatt hours of battery capacity. Looking at the exterior of this vehicle, what we're going to notice right away is with it being a BEV, there is no Lexus Signature Spindle Grille. Uh, there's no need to have that you know, large grille with those cooling elements to our engine, so instead Lexus is going to replace the spindle grille with what we are calling the spindle body design. We can see that particularly well on this RZ450E because it is a bi-tone color. It's actually a black onyx mixed with our all-new exterior color, this blue ether. You can also get a bi-tone RZ in the black onyx and cloudburst gray as well. But going back to that spindle body design, we can really see that emphasis with this black onyx hood. We're also going to notice that the corners of uh, the front bumper on our RZ are going to all be contrasting color to that spindle body, again, to really emphasize the center of the spindle body of the vehicle. What we're going to find on this particular model as well is an illuminated Lexus logo, which looks particularly cool with this being a BEV, but it's also going to be used for charging indicators. So when your RZ is fully charged, that illuminated logo is going to blink at you. And we do still have some elements of our grill as well. Down below here, we see three vents for some, some cooling elements on our vehicle. Uh, looking at our headlights real quick, we have our signature Lexus daytime running light. We have our turn signal here, our headlamp. You also see headlamp washers as well as your uh, parking sensors as well. Uh, coming over to the side, talking wheels and tires, this vehicle comes equipped with two different wheel options. We have our 20-inch wheel, which you're going to find on many of your luxury models, such as this here today. There's also an 18-inch wheel, which you can get on your premium models. Uh, the wheel is going to affect your range. So with the 18-inch wheel, you're going to get about 220 miles of range. With the 20-inch wheel, uh, you're going to get about 196 miles of range. Um, coming over here, you have your cap for your charging port, so you just pop that and you'll have your plug for your level 2 charging. There's also a cap that you can remove right here to plug in your CCS for your DC fast charging as well. And then our door handles, this vehicle is going to come equipped standard with our digital latch system. This is now standard on our vehicles such as 2023 RX as well as 22 NX and above. This digital latch system is intended to support safe exit assist and it's really easy and intuitive. All you do is behind the door handle, you'll notice there's a button that you can press and pull to open up your door. Again, really easy, intuitive for the driver, which is gonna lead us to our interior. So let's jump in the car and take a look at the interior of our vehicle. Okay, we're on the inside of our RZ, and the first thing that I want to talk about is the steering wheel. So all RZs are going to come equipped with steer-by-wire technology. However, in 2025, we're going to have this available uniquely shaped steering device, or what Lexus is calling the One Motion Grip Steering Wheel. The benefit of this wheel is that it only needs to be rotated 180 degrees from one position to the next to do a full turn. So if you're somebody who maybe has a mobility issue where you can't do that traditional hand-over-hand -hand layout of a wheel, this is going to be the perfect steering wheel for you. Uh, now moving on to the interior of our vehicle, we have a really clean layout inside this RZ. First thing I want to talk about is the standard 14 inch high resolution touchscreen display. You have wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto that are available and free at all times inside this vehicle. We also have really easy to adjust climate settings here. You have your ventilated and heated seats for your driver and your passenger. You're also gonna notice a new logo next to our heated seat button. And so what this is an indication of is our radiant heater, which is available inside this vehicle. So if you have radiant heater, you're gonna have a heater uh, below your knees of your driver as well as your passenger. Important to note that with radiant heater, you do lose that passenger side glove box but we make up that storage underneath here. You actually have some storage underneath your centerpiece here inside the vehicle. Uh, moving below our screen, we have our advanced park button right here. We have our panoramic view monitor, which I can press for you there. We have three USB-C ports down below here, and there's also two USB-C ports in the back for a total of five USB-C ports inside the vehicle. Important to note that there are no USB-A ports inside this RZ. Uh, and then finally down below, we have a standard wireless charger down here. And then we have an all new Lexus first dial shifter inside this vehicle. And so really easy to use. All we need to do is press our dial shifter down and turn it to the right to put our vehicle into drive. Press and turn to the uh, left for reverse. Press and hold for neutral. And then to put it into park, we have our push to park button right here. 
And then down below that dial shifter, we have our traction control button, our parking brake, as well as our brake hold. But again, really easy, really simple and clean design inside this RZ. Our center console here opens up both ways, which is our Japanese word of omotenashi or hospitality. Essentially, our passenger has just as much access to our center console as our driver does. And then finally, we have a digital rear view that's available inside this vehicle. So we can toggle that on and off using our switch down below here. And then I also wanna to touch on our sunroof, which has an available dynamic sky, which essentially with the push of a button, what we can do is we can make that sunroof go opaque to prevent some of those UV rays from entering into our vehicle. In the back, you're gonna notice there's two USB-C ports. Uh, again, a total of five uh, USB-C ports inside the vehicle. And then you also have heated seats in the back for your rear passengers with three different levels of climate adjustment. All right, and to wrap up on the back of this RC, a couple of notes for you. The first thing that I wanna point out is this full width blade tail light that's become pretty customary in our Lexus vehicles. We also have our Lexus logo uh, written out across the back nicely integrated with that blade tail and you're also going to see uh, an additional third brake light right here. Up top we have two vortex generators on our RZ to assist with airflow aerodynamics. You're also going to notice that there's no rear wiper on this vehicle. That's because the slope of our rear window as well as the design of our roof is intended for uh, water to really easily roll off the back of the vehicle. Again allowing for us to not place a rear wiper on the car. Uh, down below, just to talk badging real quick, we have our RZ450E, Z meaning zero, E meaning electric. You're also going to notice the Direct 4 badge, which was first introduced on our 2023 RX500H. Essentially, Direct 4 is a very advanced all-wheel drive system that gives the vehicle the ability to distribute power independently to the front and rear wheels. Uh, to open up our trunk, we have about 24 cubic feet of space uh, under, uh, back here. You're also going to notice there's a little bit additional space underneath uh, here, uh, our cubby. Uh, you can place, you know, groceries, your charging cable, no spare tire in this vehicle. It does come equipped with staggered front and rear wheels. Uh, we also have our close our trunk button as well as our press and lock button. Keep in mind that if you press this press and lock button, you need to have the key in your pocket. And when you press that, you do have about 90 seconds to walk away from the vehicle until it's going to close the trunk. Uh, but that's everything that I have for you all today. Thank you all for taking some time to explore the RZ450E with me. Feel free to like, subscribe, and share our channel. And stay tuned for more videos on this vehicle.